Hey guys, Ashley Ray Shadow Legends, welcome to the video. Glad to have you all here with me today. Talking a little bit of Raid. This is the first of two videos today. In this video, I'm probably going to regret them both. I just have a weird feeling. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this one, I'm delving into a little bit of drama today, guys. Uh, <laughs> Raid Supreme Club, Club addendum to yesterday's video was Scratch. We actually have some visuals for you guys. We have some more information. Imperium has responded. They actually reached out to me about the video that I released yesterday with Scratch, kind of answering a couple of the questions that we posed in that video. So I want to provide that to you guys as well. Uh, so the second video today is going to be on creator perks and specifically the boozer drama. If you guys don't know what that's about, uh, well, watch the next video. <laughs> Is he really free to play if he gets creator perks is what it comes down to. I share all my thoughts, probably too many thoughts in that video. Uh, but this one's going to be a quick one. So what do they get in the Raid Supreme Club? They get dedicated support for, from a direct line with Plarium. They get exclusive events. I wonder if they're in real life kind of networking. I picture them in a smoky cocktail lounge networking with the billion dollar execs at Aristocrat. Uh, private discord events access excuse me and unique gifts as well so not bad you know no specifics there but doesn't seem bad uh this is the message that they get uh how to join the discord server by the way i am, I am not a, in the supreme club i did not get an invitation which makes me wonder how much you have to spend to actually be a part of this group because i've spent a decent amount pretty penny for sure uh Upon joining the Discord server to be in the Supreme Club, you'll get 10 Eternal Soul Essences, 1,000 Energy, 3-hour free gear removal, uh, 10 multi-battle attempts times 50, and 1 million silver. So honestly, the perks aren't bad to join. Uh, somewhere in between creator perks and a promo code. That massive, massive wide gap. You guys know what I'm talking about. Promo codes lately, I, don't wanna, I never want to complain about free stuff. But lately, it's been like, hey, one energy refill. Don't spend it all in one place, eh? <laughs> and you're like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I even hesitate uploading those videos. Like, do I need to? Should I make a video for one energy refill? I, I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I digress. Creator perks are a lot more handsome than this, right? We get, uh, I think, four legendary skill tones and 1,300 gems as a top perk a week. More on that in the next video. But either way, they are getting in-game assets. Now, quick pause before I get to Qu uh, Plarium's quick response and clarity here, right? Uh, in case you didn't watch the last video, I mean, go ahead and check it out. Scratch has some opinions that he shares in that video too. But TLDR, I read through the comments too. Most people understood, and that's kind of where I stand. Honestly, a company taking care of their top spenders, it happens in almost every company, you know? Uh, this VIP club giving access and a conduit, a direct tap to Plarium, just like we have as creators too, uh, to the top spenders is probably a smart business move. I understand why it could rub people the wrong way, giving big spenders even more free resources like they need them i understand i get it i do uh but at the same time you know you could also make the case that keeping the big spenders happy in this game the million dollar spenders <laughs> keeping those players happy could also give us a brighter future hopefully that's not that big of a leap for some of you guys it meaning that like if they can continue to have people spending millions of dollars on their on one account in this game then they're going to continue to put a lot of development resources on the back end as a publisher as a game developer right so i actually think it's a wise move and it could be a rising tide uh lifts all boats too at the same time it could be good to keep these guys happy at the end of the day uh that being said, as I mentioned that in yesterday's video too, it's just crucially important that they do hear feedback from every segment of the population. So, you know, maybe the most active players in the game or something like that, if they're free to play or low spenders or whatever, maybe they're given a direct conduit so they can provide feedback to Plarium as well, because it is important as their experience would mimic and mirror you know, the vast majority of the player base. Creators are the same way. We have a direct conduit, and I hope and I think that we try to do our best job at not just articulating our views to Plarium, but articulating the views that we see in our comments and hear from our audience to Plarium as well. But we all still, we, we also still are a little out of touch as well compared to your average player, the most of us compared to your average player. So I think it's important to diversify the, the feedback mechanisms or vehicles uh, for Plarium and the player base in general. Okay, so what did Plarium say? 
they clarified about uh, like the feedback that the whales <laughs> will be able to give. They clarified how to get into this program, what the algorithm is looking for. They clarified the resources and their plans to what they want to give them, right? So in terms of the resources, basically, they said no intention to do any sort of major resource giveaways throughout this, this program. They do have the unique gifts. They're talking a welcome to the club gift, maybe like on a special holiday or something, end of the year type gift, uh, as well as a, uh, a birthday gift, right? So it looks like they'll be giving, given like gifts around the same value as this. I didn't put it through the calculator, but you know, modest, but, but generous too. At the same time, I guess gifts, uh, on occasional basis. They said that that there is no intention, absolutely no intention is disrupting the game economy uh, throughout this entire thing. Uh, basically, very, very rare occasions they'll get in-game resources such as joining the program itself or very occasional on, in addition to that, uh, birthday gifts. We saw that Watcher, or excuse me, uh, Dragonair gives like two legendary skill tomes on every whale's birthday and their like VIP program, something like that. Uh, overall, the focus of the Supreme Club is more of a personalized support. So they're looking at this, and to put it another way, and this is their words, not mine, it's a concierge service for the top spenders. Like, I travel a lot for work, right? So I have a concierge service for Delta Airlines, right? I have like a direct tap uh, to if I'm having a problem. I've never used it. But that's kind of what I look at this. I look at this like kind of like an airline's perk type thing, you know? Uh, so I think that's a good thing. I really do, especially sleeping on it from yesterday. I think it's good to get more feedback. More feedback is always a good thing. Um, what do they have to say about feedback? Basically, they said all feedback to them is incredibly important and valuable. The more, the better. It goes through screening anyway in terms of being constructive, analyzing you know, how things affect the majority of the player base, aligning with the views of the game development, being consistent with the anal analytical data. Basically, all this means they take everything into consideration, not just one player, one content creator, one whatever, right? One in-game support ticket. Uh, it doesn't mean this is from them, not me. It doesn't mean the uh, the feedback from the Supreme Club member uh, Supreme Club members will be prioritized over everything else. It's just an amazing opportunity to have a segment of the active players uh, or active spenders, right? Yeah, uh, to know their thoughts on different things coming up. Like they, they all they routinely launch different types of surveys. They say uh, for different cohorts of the player base to know their feelings and feedback on certain things. Uh, but this is just a more obvious direct tap into their biggest spenders in a way to get their feedback directly vis-a-vis -a, -vis a direct Discord server and also give them some support, uh, some dedicated support and perks as well. So guys, that's all I have. I don't need to make this video another 20 minute one because the next one will be, uh, but let me know what you think. You know, are, are you cool with this like I am or do you think it's a big mistake on Plarium? Uh, respect your opinion, of course, either way. Just ask that. I don't care. You can throw as much dirt you want <laughs> you want at my at me, at my way. But just I ask that you always be respectful to other commenters uh, on the uh, on the page here on the YouTube channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Much love and as always, take care, guys.